Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Olivia De Janeiro. Hundreds of people stood outside the Planned Parenthood office in downtown Reno to voice both support and opposition to the organization. Many homeowners have already filed lawsuits against the state of Nevada trying to get compensation for their losses. But Attorney General Adam Laxalt's office has asked a judge to dismiss their cases, claiming the Nevada Division of Forestry is not liable for the damages done in the Little Valley Fire. Two of North Korea's neighbors reacted quickly and strongly to its latest test of four banned ballistic missiles. South Korea is calling for rapid deployment of a U.S. anti-missile defense system. Efforts to find a resolution are underway, but it's sending patients scrambling for care in the meantime. News Force Melissa Bethini has the details for us this morning. And as Cassie mentioned, beautiful temperatures around the lake, which is of course known for its amazing blue water, first-class recreational opportunities, and maybe one day it's tech startup scene. At least that's the idea behind a new startup studio in Incline Village. And this is not a sight you see every day in a big city. Take a look. A horse running loose down the street, but that was the scene this morning in Philadelphia with half a dozen patrol cars chasing down the mayor. And its name? Big Mama. <laughs> We start with developing news tonight. The Washoe County Sheriff's Office has issued an Amber Alert for a missing and possibly endangered 8-year-old boy in Cold Springs. Officials say they believe the child was taken by his father, who has been identified as 30-year-old Abraham Lemus. And it's hard to believe there's that much snow still piled up in the mountains with all the sunshine we've been seeing on the valley floor. Let's get a first check on your Weather Authority forecast with meteorologist Jacqueline Shearer. And Jacqueline, we do have some more wet weather on the way. But if your celebrations take you outside, well, you're going to want to grab your snow gear because a winter storm is hitting our region as we speak. News 4's Diane Tao joins us live off I-80 near Gold Ranch with a look at the current road conditions. And Diane, I-80 is actually closed right now. Welcome back, everyone. Spring is supposed to start this month, but <laughs> winter is very yes. much still happening in our region. <laughs> Well, voting might be done differently in the Silver State in upcoming elections as lawmakers are facing unfounded claims of voter fraud. For the first time ever, lawmakers are considering a rule that would automatically register Nevadans to vote at the DMV. Police in Cleveland are investigating a murder that was broadcast on Facebook Live. Officers say the incident happened in East Cleveland. Right now at 11, the 200 block of Sierra Street is closed to traffic because of glass falling from the penthouse of the Montage Residential Building in downtown Reno. A controversial President Trump billboard in Arizona is causing a lot of heads to turn. The poster of the POTUS is on display in Phoenix. Taking a look at consumer news, Tesla is reportedly working on modifications to its autopilot system after a driver died in Florida when the system failed to stop his Model S. CEO Elon Musk announced in Twitter posts on Thursday night that Tesla is working on improvements to the radar system. Welcome back everyone. While astronauts up in space, they're excited to watch the Super Bowl as well. NASA released this video from the International Space Station showing an astronaut getting ready for the big game by throwing a football. Fair warning, this next video is unbearably adorable. Check out the view for some diners at the Cottonwood restaurant in Truckee Friday night. Apparently, they weren't the only ones trying to enjoy a nice dinner out, as you can see here. Before we go with this special edition of News 4, we've all seen that famous illustration of a 1940s woman making a muscle. Let's do it. Oh, well, oh. thousands of those Rosie the Riveters <laughs> came together for a rally just over the hill in the Bay Area in Richmond, California. Good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining us at 7.30 on this Friday morning. And it's not just Friday, but it's actually National Donut Day. So hmm. What? I know, we need some donuts. Oh. Yeah, people are going back to analog listening and buying records, vinyl records, in numbers we haven't seen in nearly three decades. Happening today, Reno officials will be honoring law enforcement killed in the line of duty by turning the Reno Arch completely blue. 
area law enforcement agencies, along with surviving family members, will be at the Arch, and everyone is welcome to come down and show their support. It will change colors at 7 o'clock tonight. And as you can see, we are all wearing denim today, including Bill's jeans right there. Mm -hmm. It's in honor of victims of sex crimes. Today is Denim Day. And Nevada's First Lady Kathleen Sandoval is driving the Denim Day campaign in the Silver State. I'm starting to feel it on my shoulders, a little bit Ooh, on my face, a little bit on my chest. It. Yeah, I spent you the gotta, day. You got to cut fresh aloe vera. That's fresh what you do. aloe vera. You don't get the stuff in the bottle. If you can find an aloe plant and you apply, it's kind of goopy when you cut it, but you apply it and it clears it up way faster. If you Whoa. don't already know that, try it. Trust me you will never go back. This wilderness survivor, <laughs> Olivia De Janeiro over here, my goodness. All right, well, Tim. Welcome back, everyone. We are talking about a local event happening this weekend sponsored by Natural Paws. It's a local company that's dedicated to providing your pet with a healthier lifestyle. So to tell us a little bit about it, we're joined by the owner, Robert Burks. Tell us a little bit about this event happening this weekend. So Hike for Hounds, my wife and I put it together. Um, today is one of my favorite days of the year because yes. it's May the 4th, in fact. Got a you prop brought here. That. Yep. Nice. You the option, your viewers, of a two for one. Hi, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. I know. Um, 